Dear Michael, our day is finally here. After months and months of planning, it's finally here. I've thought about this day ever since I fell in love with you. Ever since I had the slightest thought that you and I would turn into something more. I never realized that I could love someone as much as I love you. I love you not only for who you are, but who you inspire me to be. You are the reason that I fight so incredibly hard to be the best person that I can be. You give me a reason to get up every morning and make every single day even better than the last. You are my soulmate, my other half, the piece of my heart that I never knew was missing. Today we start the next chapter of our lives together and I couldn't imagine doing it with anyone else. Thank you for giving me the happily ever after I always dreamed about. Brittany, almost nine years ago, we started this incredible journey together. I never thought it was possible to love anyone as much as I love you. I love your goofy humor, your obsession with everything purple, and the passion you have for living your life to the fullest. You are my soulmate, my other half, a piece of my heart that I never knew was missing. Today is one of those days we'll be talking about as our hair turns gray, sitting side by side, remembering every detail like it was yesterday. I promise to be your best friend, your secret keeper, your shoulder to cry on, and your life partner. You are my everything, and I can't wait to say I do. Brittany, you've stood by my side proudly and have always helped me face my fears and have always helped me with anything that I've ever needed. You've been a shining light in my times of darkness and have always had my back and have always made sure that you would always be there for me. You've helped shape the person that I am today. My vow to you is this, I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to be even a small piece of what you've already been for me. I will always be there for you. I will always stand by your side and I will always and forever. Michael, our beginning <laughs> consisted of long bus rides and hard goodbyes. <laughs> Weekends that seemed too short and weeks that seemed too long. Now standing here today, many years later, my heart still pitter patters when I see you smile. No matter where we go in life or how much time may pass, I will always believe in our love and would ride that bus a thousand times over again as long as it leads me right back to you. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. I will love you when we are together and when we are apart. I promise to support your dreams and to respect our differences and to love you and be by your side for all the days and nights of our lives. Therefore, by the authority given to me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege and honour to introduce to you today Mr. and Mrs. Welch. Me and my brother, we might differ in a lot of things. We have different tastes in, say, movies or music and, and things like that. But one thing I'm positive we agree on is that him meeting Brittany was probably one of the best things that's ever happened to him. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so happy the two of you met and have gotten married. And I, I love you both so much, I don't know how else to say it. The first time right here in Pontypool, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Mrs. Welch!